the ability to buy a GPU over the last year or so has dramatically improved, and this is due to a lot of reasons. The problem is that new GPUs being launched haven't gotten the memo that prices are going back to normal, or at least they should. The plus side of this is that last generation GPUs are benefiting from massive price drops and becoming even better value. So if you're trying to sneak in and snag an RTX 3060 Ti or an RX 6700 XT before stock runs out, but you're having trouble deciding which one, well, don't worry, I'm here to help you. I'm gonna give you one, not just performance benchmarks, but a rundown of all the important features you need to know about each of these GPUs and what they bring to the table. Oh, and of course, I will include some buying tips after the benchmarks to help you get the best bang for your buck. This video is brought to you by SCD Key. Are you tired of overpaying for Windows? Well, SCD Key has got you covered for Windows 10 Pro OEM key for a crazy low price. All you do is click on the link in the description below. Make your selection and click buy now. On top of that, you can get an additional 25% off using my discount code BPC25 for a limited time. The best part is you can fast and secure checkout using PayPal. Type in activation settings, click on change product key, Paste in your brand new key, click next, then activate. Now you're all set. You can also get a great deal on Microsoft Office with the link in the description below using my offer code. What's up guys, my name is Juan and you're watching my channel Blueprint PC. And if this is your first time, welcome to one of the darkest corners of the internet. The first thing you need to know about both of these GPUs is their VRAM, and this may surprise some of you. But if you've been keeping your ear to the ground, you know that newer games are demanding more and more VRAM, whether we like it or not. Now, yes, some of this will be fixed with optimizations, but how long will that last? The RX 7600 comes in strong with 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM, but the 3060 Ti kind of just piddles in with eight gigabytes. The bright side is that eight gigabytes is gonna be plenty for most games at 1080p, but again, the question is, how long is that going to last before you come across more and more games that just need more? The AMD RX 6700 XT features 40 compute units and a boost clock of over 2.5 gigahertz. On the NVIDIA side, the RTX 3060 Ti packs 4,864 CUDA cores and a boost clock of 1.67 gigahertz. Now, if we've learned anything from the AMD Intel CPU battle, we know clock speed is not the end-all be-all for performance. And don't worry, yes, we're going to see how this all translates into real-world numbers. Despite their differences, there's quite a lot these GPUs have in common. They're both targeting the sweet spot of 1440p gaming, offering great performance at this resolution, plus they both support ray tracing, rebar, SAM, DirectX 12, making them compatible for future gaming titles. I will put my average gamer's test bench specs on the screen here for you. If you want to know more, there'll be a link in the video description below where you can see my video about my test bench in more depth. The short answer is it's a middle of the road gaming system designed to give you real world results without doing something that would cripple anything unfairly. So let's go ahead and just jump right into the benchmarks. Speedway is a new benchmark that tests GPU's performance in DirectX 12 with a hint of ray tracing for good measure. Both GPUs perform well here, but the 3060 Ti has about a 500 point lead. Time Spy is an older benchmark, and it's good for showing how older games will be compatible with its said GPU. It's also the first time the 6700 XT shows its horsepower. Port Royal is a ray tracing focused benchmark, again shows the 3060 Ti maintaining its dominance, but the 6700 hangs in there. Rainbow Six Siege is basically a tie, until you get to 4K where the 3060 Ti takes a small lead. Forza Horizon 5 repeats the pattern again, showing Team Green with an advantage at 4K, but just barely. F1 2022 shifts the tides towards Team Red, with about a 10% gap across the board. Cyberpunk brings both these GPUs back to reality at 1080p and 1440p, but both struggle at 4K. Borderlands favors AMD architecture, but the 3060 Ti displays impressive performance keeping things close. Horizon Zero Dawn shows great scaling across resolutions, and both of these cards are just a few FPS apart. Watch Dogs again makes this a difficult decision. It does show the 6700 XT take a small jump at 1080p. Do me a favor guys, if you're finding this video at all helpful, please hit that like button or consider subscribing because it really does help out the channel. Now that you've seen the benchmarks, let's talk about when you should consider buying one of these GPUs. Now that the 4060 Ti has launched, the RTX 3060 Ti 
has come down in price, it's fallen to about 350 bucks for new options in the US, which is right in line with the RX 6700 XT. I do feel this is still too high for an RTX 3060 Ti, but it's holding its value likely because the 4060 Ti was pretty much a letdown, so that's giving people a reason to go after these versus paying a premium for just a little bit of horsepower. If you're looking into playing with ray tracing or doing some creative works like video editing or other kind of applications like that, the RTX 3060 Ti is probably the GPU for you. The reason for that is, plain out, Nvidia is just way better at ray tracing right now compared to AMD. The other side of that coin is Nvidia has also been performing pretty well for a long period of time and due to their reliability, they have more support for applications and software used for pretty much anything. On the other hand, if you just want raw gaming horsepower, the RX 6700 XT with that extra VRAM is probably the ideal 1440p companion for you. On top of that, even to this day, it's still one of the best bang for the buck options for gaming period. And then if you look at the used market, you can find an even better deal than the normal retail pricing. If you want to see Nvidia put up a better fight on the gaming front compared to the 6700 XT, do me a favor and check out my video up here of the RX 6700 XT versus the RTX 3070. But before that, do me a favor, please hit that like subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one.